it's late autumn and there's been a raging battle between light and dark and of course dark will win but luckily for us it's just temporary it's very easy to slip away from the allotment at this time of year i know people on this side do that very thing but for me it's one of my favorite times it doesn't boast the harvest of summer of course but it does give us another opportunity So the dahlias have gone and um, they've been such a prominent feature on my Instagram page this year and that's because they've given me such a huge amount of enjoyment. It's the first time I've turned my attention to flowers on the allotment. I'm such a flower newbie and I really regret that. I feel like I've been missing out on such a treat. Next year there'll be lots more. Of course, the dahlias, like all my other plants, when they die they don't really go to waste. They go on the compost pile. I've been really determined to improve my composting on the allotment this year and as a no-dig gardener it's really important to the fertility of the soil. I've put all my organic matter from the allotment in the pile, all my household scraps have gone into this pile and it's doing okay. I mean there's new stuff on top here but at the bottom it's looking pretty good. The thing is I can afford to wait. It's free. It's, it's a brilliant sustainable cycle to create in the garden isn't it? The stuff like the flowers, the crops, they grow, they die, and then they go into a compost pile and they give fertility for the rest of the crops for the future season. Brilliantly simple, brilliantly perfect. <laughs> So one of the projects I did manage to do last year, a bit later than I hoped, was build a polytunnel. I wrote a blog post about this where I wanted to try and build a polytunnel for a, a friendly price and I managed to build this one for under £100. I wasn't really sure if it was going to work, um, it was a bit of an experiment. So far I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, it's, it's held up okay, we've had a few storms this autumn already and it's not blown away. I'm not looking down half the other side of the allotment to find it. I want to build some proper beds in here next year so I can have the full advantage having beds for all the crops I want to grow on each side. There has been a few rips in this. This is, this is not an expensive to cover and I expected it to deteriorate quite quickly. I was wanted to see how long you could go for but so I'm, I'm going to try and make it go for a bit longer. I've got some all weather tape and I'm covering up any of the small tears just to see if I can nurse this through the winter and see if I can get another growing season out of it. So one thing I can do um, in terms of planting um, is plant some broad beans. I've already planted my garlic, um, which is something you can do in October, November. Um, but you can plant broad beans, and I, I did try this last year, and I didn't really have much luck. Um, I could have been the variety I chose, or it could have just been the fact we had the beast from the east in, in the early part of spring last year. So I'm going to try again, and I'm going to try growing this variety of broad bean, which is called Sutton. I've had the plot for just for two years and had a massive issue with flooding which I had to resolve and build these raised beds and dig out the path and it's taken a bit of time but I'm over halfway now and I'm getting lots of fruit and vegetables from the beds that I have got. There's two things, there's both a daunting prospect and an exciting one is that what's behind me is what's left of the rest of the allotment. It's about 30 square feet, so it's a lot to go. And believe it or not, that's how this allotment looked when I took it on two years ago. So I feel like I've got the experience already to carry on. I've done it once before, so this bit shouldn't be as, as difficult next time. But it does give me some excitement because I know how much space is there for me to create beds and grow more flowers for sure. And I want a nice shed right at the back there. A big one that I can enjoy sitting in and not simply just put my tools away in it. So that's something I want to do this winter and, and hopefully if I get dry enough weather I can start cutting this back and slowly creating the beds and the structures and that shed that I desperately want. <laughs> 
That's my eight-year-old daughter, Ava. She loves spending time on the allotment with me too. It's wonderful to see her excited about the crops we grow together, and I really wanted to grow up with a strong relationship with food, understand where it comes from, and to be thrilled to eat it. If you're enjoying the videos I'm creating here on the Sharpen Your Spades YouTube channel, I would love if you would subscribe.